you'll need a reflective vest. Mining professor Kate Bruce trains Cambrian College students for different careers above and below ground. Bruce says increased automation and better ventilation have changed the mining environment. She says there are high-tech, high-paying jobs at every level. There's a lot of surface opportunities um, in design. You can work, actually you can work open pit. We have a lot of graduates working open pit, particularly in Western Canada. Mark Trottier was a miner in Timmins for years. Now he's improving his prospects with a diploma in mining technology. Using jack legs and you know and stopers and climbing up muck piles and ladders and it's a lot of hard work and I uh, wanted to get into the office uh, part of engineering and mine development. At Valley's Clarabelle Mill in Sudbury, workers with a range of skills are needed to replace aging boomers and meet new challenges. The demographics uh, tell us that by 2021, about half of our uh, workforce is going to have to be replaced. Job growth in the mining industry will happen across many sectors. Demand for workers in the skilled trades is expected to be highest, but the industry will also require a range of technicians and other professionals, from accountants to engineers. It's a lot of intelligent work too. It takes a, a lot of thought and there's a lot of uh, learning and the learning never stops. For Career Connection, I'm Lynn Bullock.